Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a bad attitude and we're gonna play with makeup. So I'm not gonna hesitate to dive on in and get things going. We're gonna start out with this Ciate Burst Hydrating Primer and I will fill you in on why I'm having a bad attitude in my life right now and what has been going on in the past month because you may have noticed I haven't been uploading as much as I normally do. Illness, issues, we're gonna get to it. That was very refreshing and delightful. I have not yet tried this one out. We're gonna now go in with the Matty Fine 12 Hour Shine Control Primer from MAC. This is the new MAC Studio Fix Primer. Have not tested this puppy out just yet. Are you, oh my gosh, I'm trying to like pull it off. It's a like twirl off top. I'm exclusively going to be attacking my sweaty nostrils. You guys know I mentioned that in my Taylor Swift get ready with me video, that if you would need for your makeup to lock in, if it is humid out, if you have oily skin, if your nose area is a problem, if it's really hot, you know, we're moving into summer months and this is such a good tip that feels a little strange. I have drier skin everywhere else, but around my nose, I don't want it to get oily or sweaty. And then maybe take like the excess and just kind of smack it around on the T-zone just a little bit. I'm gonna go into this Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Now they sent me, cause this came in PR, they sent me one shade. Do they get it right? Like, did they know? Like I have a hard time matching myself in a store where you can swatch the tester, but this is what they sent me. So we're gonna like go with it and just like, mm, I don't know, see what happens. I am going to try it out with a beauty blender first. Oh, you know what I wanted to put on first? I'm actually really extra, really loving the Joa stick. It's not a foundation. They say it's like a highlight, a contour, under makeup, over makeup, like literally do whatever you want with it. Here you go. And I was really confused by that, but I tried this in my testing products again that I wanted to love, kind of like a last chance video. And this ended up being something that I really, really love, especially on the cheek area for some reason underneath makeup. It just gives you a little bit of cush and a little bit of luminosity and I'm here for it. And now we'll go into the foundation and say a prayer. I have no time for this. I just want to look more beautiful than when I started. That is the bar. The color match is not bad, huh? Dare I say I like that. Okay, we're gonna go into this new to me. I don't know how new this is. Make is the brand concealer. It's the Skin Mimetic Concealer. And this is in the shade Fair. I have already tested this and I love it. I love the doe foot applicator. I love how thin the consistency is. And this hit a high note for me. It does not look heavy, which I have been experimenting with lighter makeup. All right, let me fill you in. I had the most freak show thing happen with my health. Like I'm a person that I've had a lot of detoxy kind of symptoms, whether it's like the eye issue, weird neck pain, or I don't know how related any of that would be with a lot of lifestyle change, but it's felt like maybe it's been that, but I have not gotten sick. In over two years, no cold, no sinus infection, no nothing. I've been healthy as can be, really happy about that. So maybe I've been a little high on the horse with that where I'm like, oh, uh, you're, you have a cold again? Mm, I just, I don't know what that's like because I live my organic fantasy and I never get sick. And let me tell you, I have been humbled because I got the weirdest sinus cold, um, not the vid, but... I got a sinus issue right before I went to Ohio. It cleared up pretty quickly. Um, I was able to go to Erica's baby shower, see the family, be with everyone. And that was a great time. But then I started having this issue eating, which was super weird. I was like, why in the world does it literally hurt to eat so bad on one side of my neck? The appropriate immediate thought is to go online and find out that you're dying. So there was that where I'm like, oh my gosh, let's write the will. Let's like do it because my life is over. Um, I 
embarrassingly tend to be that person. I admit it. We're gonna go in. Actually, I wanna try this new Lawless powder. A lot of people are talking about this. This is a talc-free smoothing powder, so it's said to blur. And I recently watched a documentary on talc. Not that it was crazy fear-mongering stuff, but if you wanna watch, I'll list the name of it in the description. It's like not so pretty or yeah, is it called not so pretty? It's something like that on HBO. When I was sick, I watched it and my job was on the floor and I'm like, oh my gosh, like we are doomed and like talc is evil. And like, I don't want to be an extreme personality. Like I'm really working hard at not being like that because I don't think it's healthy, but the science is there. And so it's a little alarming. Anyway, I'm happy to see a talc free powder at Sephora. Um, this foundation is extraordinarily sheer. We are not getting a lot of coverage from it, but that's okay. I don't really mind too much. I'm going in with a little bit of Westman Atelier powder. This is a brightening powder that I have been enjoying underneath the eye. So where was I? My lump, my lump, my lump. Okay, you can still kind of see it. This literally was like, no exaggeration, bigger than a golf ball. Every time I would so much as drink water and I actually felt like this is it for me. This has got to be a weird tumor. It is a blocked salivary gland, your saliva gland. Delicious, I know. Um, my mom was hearing me talk about it. She like started dry heaving on the phone and I'm like, thank you. You know, like I know it's gross. Like I'm supposed to massage it after eating. And it's just so disgusting. And it's made my whole body feel very off balance. Like I felt like I've been knocked down with the flu, but in the weirdest way where I have no fever or body aches or chills, I just have this like looming nausea and overall just unwellness running through me where I will get up and I'll be like, you know what? My mind is active. I'm going to do some laundry and clean. And I get up and my body's like, no, you are not. You will do nothing. Sit back down. You know, and like, I've had to just like, listen to my body. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you just have to. Let's go in with a little bit of bronzer from Westman Atelier. This stuff is so forgiving. It's like, be crazy with what you're doing. Like, you know, like old school application of makeup. I grew up where you'd be like sitting in the sink cross-legged, the worst lighting ever. And you just kind of like rub everything everywhere as best you can and hope that it worked out. And somehow like the makeup ended up looking all right. Sometimes I think nowadays we overstress about everything being super, super perfect. And then it becomes this crazy chore where you're like, I just don't, I can't even face getting ready because I'm gonna suck at it. And I'm just, uh, just like rather not. I'm like, no, do it. Just don't always feel like you have to be like a YouTuber. Cause honestly, right now I'm about to jet out the door and you know what, who has time? I don't. Okay, so. I could not film and I would start to stress out about not having videos to post because that can affect your career. Like literally like YouTube is like neat, 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 with like the views right now and beauty. Apparently I ruined the beauty community. Bah, bah, bah. So anyway, um, I think a lot of people are over on TikTok and short form content is fresher. And honestly, since I downloaded TikTok, I get it. I actually enjoy scrolling and learning and like so much content so fast. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it leaves you feeling kind of sick to your stomach. So like there's a balance there, but I get it. And I do like, we're gonna do like a soft launch right here. I'll link below my official TikTok handle and link. I'm on there. There currently at this very moment is not any content. I want there to be content very, very soon. I am gonna do like old school in the moment, beauty review after beauty review after beauty review. I used to do that five days a week here on my channel. And a lot of you guys have been like, Tati, your videos are way too long. Like you are so chatty. Can we get like back with the just dropped launched reviews? And I I feel like TikTok would be a really good place for that. I will still be here doing these kind of videos, but I wanted to hear your feedback. Would you prefer these kind of sit down, chit chat, get ready with me videos as I have been doing two a week? Or should I start doing like kind of old school Tati hot or nots where it's like 10, 15 minute videos, maybe three times a week. I don't want to overdo the content and just like start throwing things at you if you guys are not going to watch and enjoy it. So I wanted to ask your 
honest opinion. I think that might be more creatively fun for me where this can be like the lean back conversation. Let's hang out and talk about life and makeup. And then the other places can be like the kind of anxiety, like, oh my gosh, this just launched. We must try it, you know, like right in the very moment. I'm gonna go in with this Love Face Palette. I have not dipped in here yet. Oh my goodness. This looks beautiful. We're gonna go into the cream blush and tap, 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 tap right here. I still sound like, I'm like, I sound kind of congested. This is dragged on for like over three weeks now. I miss feeling pretty. I miss my routine. And anybody that has struggled with just that roller coaster of, I don't want to say I have autoimmune disease. I don't have, I don't like, I don't like claiming that over my life anyway, but I have to be really diligent with my health. I've shared that with you guys because if I get overstressed, my inflammation just goes through the roof. I've shared I've struggled with endometriosis, hormonal issues. I have so many food allergies. It basically makes me feel like I can never eat out at a restaurant, which super, super sucks. And I'm not talking like, oh, I'm gluten-free because like it's cute. I'm talking, I look like I am pregnant if I eat any wheat products. Like I will know, like I will expand. I will know if you are lying to me and there is gluten in whatever you are serving. It's something that I kind of laugh about, but it's also like, it gives me stress when I go to family functions and there's food involved because I don't want to have unreasonable gas at a family affair. It's so uncomfortable and painful and it feels like it's in my chest and like, I can't. I'm hoping you find this kind of funny and don't take me too seriously. I don't take myself too seriously. And it's kind of fun to vent sometimes. So thank you for allowing me to share with you all where I have been at this past month. I'm gonna go in and seal in the nostril area with some mattifying powder. <laughs> I'm very concerned about this, clearly. I just noticed like when I flip out like the camera to do stories, oh my gosh. You have a sweaty nose, like what is going on? Fix that. I feel like I wanna put on a little balm or something. This is new from Naturium, the Phyto Glow Lip Balm. I am really liking this. I feel like I'm cheating on Laneige, ah, but I do like it. Okay, so I went to Ohio, love Ohio, got to see Sabrina's kids, Logan is growing up. I posted a cute kind of family at dinner reel on my IG. I never do that kind of a thing, but it was just such a nice time for all of us to connect. Um, but back at our Airbnb, which, and my mom and my dad and my stepdad and me and James all in a townhome. And I was just trying my best to like feel really good and like the opportunity to be with family. And I brought my no Vage with me, which is like this nasal cleanser. Literally, if you want to feel like the least sexiest person on the planet, ask your husband to cheerlead you while you do Navage because it feels like you are plunging underwater. It's like this thing that you literally stick these two nozzles like up your nose. It's kind of like an espresso, like you clamp it down and then you push this button and it literally spits water through one nostril and suctions the other side. If you have sinus issues, it can be really helpful to alleviate the pain and clear you out. I just have to laugh because literally the morning, like not the afternoon, not the evening, but the morning of the shower, I got my period. I am wearing silk chiffon and day one for me, it's not cute. Yes, everyone was giving me the look of like, oh, you're not pregnant yet. Like I can tell that people are losing hope for me because they're like, oh, well, you know, you can always adopt. And it's a nice, like people don't know what to say. So it's like a nice thing. And like, yeah, like we, we think about that often. Like obviously I, have got to get through litigation. Like I'm dealing with 10 lawyers and nonsense behind the scenes that you guys would not even believe. It is almost three years deep of this absolute disaster. I didn't throw the first punch, but I do have to defend myself. So that's what we're doing. And it just hasn't been the time to be like, you know what? While I'm stressed out with all this litigation, you know what we should do? Let's look into adoption. It just like has not been the time, nor has it been the time to be like, yeah, let's like fertility, let's do it. So it was tough, but the big but, 
My family is wonderful. And if you watch that reel, like the happiness and the kids and their dancing and their laughter, I love being an auntie. I am so excited for Erica. So I just wanna say there have been a few DMs that I've gotten to that are a little abrupt, like a little frosty slash spicy, where people are like, oh, are you having a hard time being happy for her? And I'm like, no, like I've wanted this for her. I know this is a dream of hers. And I think there's such growth when you can be truly, genuinely, not fake, not like, oh, I'm happy for you. Like, no, when you can truly be happy for someone that you love that gets something that you really, really want, you're in the right place. Like you're in a good place. So despite all of my like comedy of like, oh gosh, I have to say my heart has never been in a more accepting, good place. It is what it is. Like you make the best of it. So I don't know. I feel kind of good about that. Um, side note, we're going to get into brows. I can never talk and do brows. What, what am I thinking? Side note, BRB. I am using my pro palette. You guys, this is a great investment. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It looks super boring, but you can do everything with this guy. Okay. I'm going to go into three different browns, okay. I'm just not caring with my makeup right now. Do you ever have those days where you're just like, bare minimum, let's do it. Ah. I'm gonna go into Affinity from this palette just with my fingertip. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna complain about a product that I think, I want a megaphone complain about this one, to add to the sinus, golf ball, bloodied, period cramp adventure. Do not buy these. Repeat after me. I will not buy Honey Pot Company organic cotton cover regular pads. I kid you not, infused with lavender. Okay, like mm, that might be irritating. I don't know. Aloe, that's fine. And mint. These are infused with mint. I started like shaking and like dancing. It felt like I rubbed icy hot all over my vagina. And I just don't think anyone needs that kind of pain. It was both burning and icy simultaneously and I did not know what was going on. I've been on the adventure to like get any pesticide sprays off of tampons specifically because you know, it's like, and also like bleach and chlorine and like, do you guys even know what they do to tampons? And then like, ugh, like research it, you should, you know? I have all sorts of female issues and I'm like, how much contributed to how much? I don't know, but I just think sticking bleach like that can't be good, right? Like that can't be good. So I'm all about like organic. I feel like a fool for not reading the package. Like that's on me, but it was not cute. And I was talking to James about this. I was like, why is it when you have good days, you feel like everything is just like this, like yay, butterflies and rainbows and everything is fine. And then you have those mornings where like one thing happens and you snag your clothes and you have a tickle in your throat and you spill your coffee and you wear a minty pad. It just kind of all seems, at least for me, to happen at once. Anybody else? Okay, what do we need? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go meet all of my neighbors tonight and I just, Blood pressure is high. I am gonna need mascara, like the entire tube to make me feel awake, you know? I am still loving this. Oh my gosh. Grande Cosmetics, if you are like me and you are in a constant battle with your brows, this is so good. It is the Tinted Brow Gel Brow Enhancing Serum. I really like the Itty Bitty Wand and it has helped my brows to grow in, which is so nice. And I do wear that one even on days where I'm not doing tons of makeup. I have a primer that I wanna try from Pacifica because I don't think I wanna put false lashes on. Sometimes when I'm meeting people in real life, I just feel like I'm a little bit extra if I'm all super dolled up, you know what I'm saying? Like lashes have a time and place. Then again, I did wear lashes to go and pick up eggs from a farm. So what am I even talking about? Go with your mood, you know? You know what is really good? What honestly, I was gonna tweet this earlier, no joke, my holographic nails. Oh my gosh. You guys, they look like nothing right here, but I will insert like a little look out in the sunshine. I was sitting outside like collecting myself, like God help me and my bad attitude. 
And I was looking at my nails and I'm like, oh my gosh, amazing. And the funny thing is the nail polish name is Not Today Satan, which I am on board with. I like it through and through. It's like a pink hollow, super, super pretty. I'll list it below the, I don't know the company name. Was it Mooncat? I have the bottle in the other room. But I really love it. And for those of you that are like, mention Hollow Taco, I actually need to order some Hollow Taco. I do my own nails now. Like back when a lot of her launches were happening, I was doing gels. So I just never use the polish that often. But I do, of course, love the OG Holographic Queen. She is still a favorite and I wanna support. I also read some really rude comments this morning too that were like 95% of people are so lovely and so nice. And what is it with the human brain that sees like the one bad thing and is like, eh, we're gonna lean into that one. Um, like when someone's like, oh, Tati's just looked 45 from the start. I don't know what it is when people start picking at my age or that I don't get Botox anymore and they're like, yeah, well, we can tell finally, finally starting to fall apart. And it's making me like want to put the gloves on and be like, oh yeah, okay, all right, watch this. I'm gonna get everything lasered off my face and put on a nice pair of high heels and feel very fresh, thank you so much. And then a part of me is like, no, like that is, uh, that's like the wrong attitude to have. But there is like this feminine thing happening with me right now where I do feel very multifaceted. I feel on like a Monday, I can be no makeup, whatever. And then I do love to bring it to life and be glamorous and like to feel like a woman. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's okay. Like, I think that's fine, but like it has to come from like a better place than like the, I'll show you, you know, because sometimes that's what those comments make you feel. I'm not, I just, I'm not gonna lie. That's like what it does. And maybe that's an okay thing to be like, thanks for the motivation. I'm gonna go drink some water. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this might be the worst video I've ever filmed or the best. Has she finally snapped? Cause something happened this month where I'm like, you know what? I am so sick of living for everybody else. And yes, I have had to like swallow my opinion on so much because I am still in litigation. Words that you speak online are eternal and they can be twisted. So I do have to be really careful, but man, there is something like spiritually happening with me where I'm actually feeling comfortable with who I am, how I am, and not just like presenting as perfect, but being like, hey, I'm a range of things. I'm gonna have good months and bad months. And isn't that life, you know? And I'm just gonna continue showing up on the internet whether I'm a mess or not. Let's go in. Oh, by the way, this was MAC in Whirl. We're gonna go into Natasha Denona and I Need a Rose Lipstick in Peony. Smells so good. I want a cupcake, oh my gosh. Oh, and then I almost storied this. I tried to make banana bread. I thought it was being so cute. I was like, oh, my husband loves banana bread. Let me try to be Betty Crocker. And we had some like kind of close to death bananas. And I'm like, I know what to do. Um, this is a new one from Mineral Fusion. It just looked like the prettiest nudie pink gloss in Paris. Okay, so I tried a TikTok recipe that did me so dirty. Guys, leave me your recipe for banana bread. What the heck? I tried putting like a cream cheese layer in it. The whole thing did not bake. It said to bake at 350 for 40 minutes. That puppy was in there for like an hour and a half and was refusing to bake. It was the weirdest thing. I don't know what happened, but God bless James. He took a slice and he's like, well, it tastes like it would have been good. I even made like a glaze for the top, like a donut glaze with like powdered sugar and butter and brown sugar and it's on the stove and I was gonna do like the whole like thing. So it's just been like laughable. Like you have to laugh. I'm telling you, like get all of your like, yeah, like out at once, cause that's just how life is gonna deal it to you sometimes. It's funny, life is funny. Okay, we have a new mascara from MAC. Where'd you go? 
I always get excited when I get PR from Mac because man, back in the day, that was like the thing. I worked at Bare Minerals and Mac was next door and literally it felt like we were like nerd alert, like swirl tap buff. And then next door, they're all like rocking out with their music and like their cool clothes and like their mohawks. And I always was like very jealous of Mac. And I'd go over there and I'm like, man, I'm so broke, I can't afford it. one eyeshadow. So when I get sent PR from Mac, I still, like the teenage Tati is just like, oh yeah. Like this is like, this is the stuff, this is it. So let's find out. This is not bad. What the heck? That mascara is fabulous. I feel brand new right now. Oh my gosh. I saw a meme the other day and it was like, when you haven't worn makeup in a week and you put some on and look in the mirror and remember that you're actually kind of pretty, I felt that deeply. Cause I feel like I am a troll when I am like greasy and like the hairs and like the, like the day four bun. And the pajamas definitely don't match. You look in the mirror and you're like, deal with you later, you know? And then you put on your makeup and you're kind of like, ah, you know, revived. That's how I'm feeling. What other random things can I tell you? I finally got new jeans that I like from Veronica Beard. I think they're called the Taylor jean. I might buy them an ombre. They're expensive, but I love the fit. Okay, so I think I need a little setting mist. This is not full glam with the hair. Let me know in the comments, are we liking the blonde highlights? I kind of like it. I kind of, it's a nice change. I just kind of wanted to sit down. I hadn't filmed in a couple of weeks and I want to get back into a rhythm even though I've had a rough month and I'm kind of just like, <laughs> Um, still a little bit, uh, life goes on and I'm just gonna keep showing up. Let me know what you think about me splitting up videos and just doing more quick reviews here on YouTube even three times a week versus twice a week at almost 30 minutes. I hear you guys, I love your feedback. I read every comment myself personally. I said this in a previous video, I don't have an assistant, so I'm the one hearting things and replying to you guys. I also am the one replying in DMs, which I spend quite a bit of time over in my DMs on IG right now. So hit me up. I really like this. I'm actually super excited to play with these other shades in here. Ooh, I didn't put highlight on. We almost left this video without that. Let's do a little cheers. Oh, dang. Isn't it just marvelous what makeup will do for your bad attitude? I am off. I love you guys. Most of what I tried, I really enjoyed today. I will list everything below and I hope you are having a good one, whatever you are doing. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, share it, leave those comments, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.